Hello, my name is Annie McManus. Hello, my name is Nick Grimshaw, uh, and we are here together with Rolling Stone UK to look back at some presumably horrendous pictures from our youth. <laughs> Good luck, everyone, because we can't remember anything. <laughs> it's so funny for me because festival season is just one, like, decade and a half long blur mm. of striped tents mm. and sunglasses mm -hmm. and, and hangovers. And, hangovers. Yeah. and that it clearly is towards the start of the you know the decade but mm -hmm. um i couldn't tell you where i was couldn't tell you i can I, that's know, big weekend <laughs> is it in maybe 2008 wow or seven, 2008 babe. in maidstone oh, was it wow i mean i, I guess so. i'm so impressed yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it was oh, yeah. it that was, was the Madonna year. year. It was not a good year for you. No. Why? Because I had to DJ at the exact same time Madonna was on. Oh, that's tough. And I was literally playing records and hearing her in the background being like trying to listen. And there was like 12 people there. Oh, no. Was, I mean, it wasn't a good break. I was not time. one of them 12. I'm no, so you sorry. were not. Ben. There's Madonna in Maidstone. Yeah. Um, I remember Madonna that one. Madonna in Maidstone. I remember that one really well because... Um, it was when we were doing Sunday nights together on Switch and it was me and Annie and then straight after us was Kelly Osborne in an agony ant role, which I'm obsessed with, by yeah. the way. And me and Kelly travelled to Maidstone together, um, both with food poisoning. <laughs> and we were so not okay and we had to go and we, were, and we wanted to go and we were so excited, but we were both like, Oh, our bellies! <laughs> we were like, really? Oh, like, you don't want food poisoning at a festival. You don't want food poisoning. Like, you don't want food poisoning your period. own house. It was rough. So we were just trying to like hold it together whilst Madonna was doing um, uh, the hard candy tour in Maidstone. Yeah. God. That and was Madonna had her own toilet. I remember. I think yeah. that was quite interesting toilets that yeah. particular weekend. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Ma Madonna brought her own toilet, which everyone thought was outrageous. But I thought... Well, now Beyonce's done it now. I mean, you would, though. If you had an option to have your uh, own totally. toilet instead of using a manky board to do, yeah. of, course of course you would. would. I think I'm going to put that on my rider. Yeah, get that sorted. Oh, yeah, so this... I can't remember the year. Basically, Sunday nights, Annie and I used to do a show called Switch together. And on a Sunday night, we would be hungover because we were, I don't know, 17 years younger than we are now. So we didn't think, oh, we've got work tomorrow. We should stay in. To be honest, it didn't really feel like work. It no, it didn't feel it like work. It felt like hanging no. out with your mate, yeah. you know, hungover. And yeah, we, we were not professional. We would come in kind of, sometimes after the show had started, we'd just kind of come in two or three minutes after seven o'clock. Which keeps me awake at night now. And we uh, would, yeah, a lot of the time just be delirious and laugh hysterically mm -hmm. a lot. And then it was quite a kind of, crazy show so we'd have all sorts of guests people coming in and out mad stunts and just like weird we used to ask people to like put their face in a bowl of things and see how many grapes they could get in their mouth and like put on sumo wrestling suits and have fights in the live lounge and it was all very crazy um crazy but pro green clearly was a guest mm -hmm. and um, that would have been i'd say uh i'd say that would have been 2000 10, 2009, 10. Oh, yeah. Well, I remember being in Miami Music, went to, mm -hmm. went to music conference in 2009, because mm -hmm. that's when I got with T, my husband. And I remember walking home hand in hand at like five in the morning and seeing Pro Green. And we'd like pull our hands away. We were like, we're just a secret. And that would, I remember that <laughs> that year was the year where he was giving out demo tapes, him an example, where like giving us tapes of their demos. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. So like that would have been them not, yeah, that, that was that, 2009. So oh, I wow. think that would have been maybe yeah. a couple of years after that. Oh. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Oh. But yeah, that was a very fun show that Sunday night. And um, looking back on it, it, I think it was fun because it was like us two, the guests were our age and it, it didn't feel like work today. It? it felt like we were hanging yeah. out on yeah. a Sunday. So we were you know, hungover and probably our guests were hungover and pe maybe people listening were hungover. Yeah. So it was kind of a it was a kind of a dream show to do in that we just got to hang out with people on a Sunday night and do stupid stuff. There was no let's do a hard in-depth research to do yeah. a great interview. We were very much allowed to be us. Yeah. Which in my opinion is the best type of radio. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> this <laughs> is so bad. I don't know what was going on in my life there, but I don't think I was. A... 
it is so bad. I can't oh, believe that someone let me on the telly looking like that. Close to look at that. Like, like what shoes am I? What's the oh, it's okay. There's a coloured strap. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that that's makes a bit fun. more sense. I look filthy. You do. You look like, like you haven't. Like you, you, you look like you've been on a forty-eight hour bender. And do you know what? Oh, yeah, I, I might have been. I can't believe that someone let me on the telly like that. That the BBC were like, but, yeah, but yeah, yeah, you look all right. It's not dirt, it's stubble. You've got stubble, you the, haven't shaved, yeah. you're pretty pasty. Yeah. And I think the t-shirt's really pulling out the pastiness. <laughs> and then the hair, I don't think you look dirty. I think it's just tiredness. stubble and tiredness. Yeah. 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 yeah, that was the look, I feel. I feel like maybe everyone was like dirty looking there. And you know I'm I mean? wearing some little top shop thing and like uh -huh. thing, but I also look a bit pasty and like if it wasn't for the makeup, I think I'd be like yeah. yeah. It's not a great look, but I mean, also my hair, I'd bleached my hair um, and it was bad. And then I dyed it black, which was worse. It was brought the blue black. It's like back. blue black. Yeah, yeah, I also yeah. used to wear my keys around my neck like that and a, le and a leather lanyard. Mm -hmm. And that's a ripped GBH t-shirt. Yeah. yeah. Which is really like, weird. what the hell? Yeah. So that would have been at the set of our TV show that we did called Sound, mm -hmm. and that was um, that came off the back of doing a radio show. We've got our own music TV show, and it, it, it there was got a couple of series, wasn't there? So the first mm -hmm. one we were out and about, and there was amazing, amazing performances from amazing artists in different like iconic places around London. So Adele on the roof of a car park in Brixton in the rain, or Mary J. Blige in the foyer of Brixton Academy, like amazing stuff. And then after that, we got a different series where we were in a studio in Hackney. Like a house, Just almost. off Mare Street, a big warehouse. And that would be, I know from the exposed brick wall, that that's where mm -hmm. we would be there. Mm -hmm. And that was also mad. Like we had some insane guests. We had Lady Gaga in like in the meat dress era mm -hmm. coming in. We had Justin Bieber, mm -hmm. Katy Perry, Katie Perry, Adele. Yeah, everyone came on it. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't remember much. <laughs> no, surprise, surprise. <laughs> I don't remember but much. But it was, it felt very chaotic and very loose. And I, I think I'd love to watch an episode. Yeah, I'd like love to it. watch it. I bet it's bad. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I think that was the time, or maybe it was the innocence of our youth that we approached going to a TV show of like, oh, let's just see what happens. I guess that was kind of good and very culturally that was what was going on. Yeah. It was like, let's just wing it. Whereas now, I won't go to a TV show or radio show being like, let's just see what happens. Yeah. I think that was maybe more of the yeah. vibe yeah. in 2008. Yeah, yeah. Like, let's just see what happens. Yeah. Um, we definitely thought that with our attire. You actually look happened? quite fab. What happened then? Like, as in, how, <laughs> how long before it got? Decommissioned. Yeah. Um, when did we get binned off? Um, I think we did like two series or three series. It went on for a in, bit. In Hackney. In Hackney, yeah. I still have some lovely shoes from the, because um, there was like, an, a, like a fashion outlet across the road. Was it a Prada? Burberry. Burberry. Yeah. I still have some nice Burberry from yeah. that. Oh, good. Okay, well, that's one thing we got out of that. Some and he got some Burberry shoes from the outlet. Oh, this one was at the launch of your book, Annie. Yes, it was. Of Mother Mother. The launch of my first novel, Mother Mother, and that's at the Standard Hotel. And what was kind of strange about that event was that it was the first party I went to or put on post COVID. So mm. it was, we had to do an outside in the smoking area, basically a whole party. And it was not that big, but it just felt really special mm. because it was like, we oh, can be out, out again. Grimmy came, which meant a lot, and lots of lovely people came and instead of getting a I remember that night. It wasn't wild. It wasn't wild at all, up, no. So We're grown ups now. Yeah, I'd been somewhere before. And I remember like I couldn't believe after COVID that there was two, like let alone one thing on that, there was two things on yeah. in a night. And I was like, what? We went to like dinner and a party. Yeah. And I remember being like, whoa, yeah, people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we had, yeah, like an outdoor book launch party. And now we're both writers. Because mm. you know, we've both done that now. Yeah. Day. It was nice to celebrate you that night though, because it was it was nice to see like the journey with we've been on and where we were at and also to go to a party and actually go there and think we really want to celebrate Annie's work well for the being let me get paralytic yeah you know it's yeah, nice yeah, to yeah. like yeah. have a party for an occasion yeah as opposed to this Tuesday yeah. thanks for watching us cringe about our <laughs> former <laughs> selves uh, if you want to listen to our podcast sidetracked you can get it on BBC sounds or wherever you get your podcast every Thursday Thursday's the drop day enjoy